Welcome to Unique People Stories. What's the best advice you've ever received? The acid of bitterness eats the container that holds it. I never learned anything when I was talking. You cannot change the past. But you can ruin a perfectly good present by worrying about the future. Life becomes easier when you learn to accept the apology you never got. Cutting people out of your life doesn't mean you hate them. It simply means you respect yourself. Not everyone is meant to stay. You really need to know a person, inside and out, to be in love with them. If you're filling in blanks, it's likely infatuation. You are not required to set yourself on fire to keep other people warm. Only take advice from people who have what you want. Help me find actual mentors, and got me reading things that would actually help me. When people learn I've been successful financially they either want to tell me about their business idea or ask me how I did it and how they can too. Almost universally they don't actually listen to me. They're too excited to talk about themselves and their big plans. I'm very willing to give people advice. But in two or three years I've yet to meet someone who actually listens. These days. In real life. I do everything I can to suggest I'm not wealthy so people don't pitch me their shitty business ideas then ignore me when I offer feedback. I'm a tax accountant. My family asked me about tax deductions. I told them their personal expenses aren't deductible. They tried to negotiate with me. You asked. I told you the law. Stop trying to convince me. I don't care what you put on your taxes. One of my cousins asked me about this guy who has a multi-step plan to become wealthy. I've seen tax returns of people with similar occupation titles and their taxes do not reflect what is on their website as proof of their success. So I told her he's a scammer and was indicted for fraud. But what kind of fraud? Because if it wasn't for mortgage fraud, does it really matter what kind of fraud? And if you didn't really want my opinion, why did you ask? Always poop before showering, never after. Listen more than you speak. I was told in high school to take the honors chemistry class instead of the regular one. I did not believe in myself and did not think I'd be able to handle an honors course but it was one of my best decisions. Turns out the regular chem teacher was horrible. Half the class dropped, failed and everyone else scraped by with C's or B's not a single A. My honors teacher so genuinely loved teaching and she cared so much. It was such a special experience because it's hard to find teachers like that in high school. My older brother once told me this after I had vented about another failing relationship, if you have a problem in your relationship and you haven't told your partner. It's a you problem. It really forced me to work on communicating better and also knowing when to call time in general. Don't stay up late to do anything you wouldn't get up early to do. Act broke to stay rich. As a perfectionist who also procrastinates yes ik it's really difficult for me to do an assignment if i know i won't be doing it perfectly or on my exact terms due to the corner i back myself into most times i don't always have the time to submit the work that i feel reflects my true potential and i get so overwhelmed that i don't want to do it at all i had someone tell me it's better to get a decent grade like an eight tenths rather than submit nothing and get zero if that makes sense Get the credit and make the best with the time you have left otherwise you'll regret that zero just because you wanted a 10. IDK if anyone else has this particular struggle or needs to hear this but yeah it's helped me anytime I've felt like giving up. Never accept criticism from someone you'd never seek advice from in the first place. Don't believe in things because they sound good or are convenient to believe in. The truth has no obligation to be beautiful or convenient. No one really knows what they're doing in their job. The closer you get to the roles at the top, the more you'll see that everyone is still making their best guess, instead of worrying about making the right call 100% of the time, and procrastinating on decisions. Get better at failing but moving forward from it. The money you save buying bad food will later be spent on hospital bills. Serbian dude in a grocery store when my family first came to America. From my professor in college about a final in an email. Students. I will not wish you good luck on this test. Luck is wished on those who believe they will do bad. Instead. I wish you the best on finding time to study for this exam. Guaranteeing you a passing grade. Buy cheap. Buy twice. Was some advice my dad once gave me. Has proven correct many many times in my life. It's certainly not blanket advice. You obviously have to choose when to apply it. Man at Arms by Terry Pratchett has the best example I've seen. 
Take boots. For example, he earned $38 a month plus allowances. A really good pair of leather boots cost $50. But an affordable pair of boots, which were sort of okay for a season or two and then leaked like hell when the cardboard gave out, cost about $10. Those were the kind of boots Vimes always bought, and wore until the soles were so thin that he could tell where he was in Ankh Morpork on a foggy night by the feel of the cobbles. But the thing was that good boots lasted for years and years. A man who could afford $50 had a pair of boots that'd still be keeping his feet dry in 10 years' time, while the poor man who could only afford cheap boots would have spent $100 on boots in the same time and would still have wet feet. This was the Captain Samuel Vimes' boots theory of socioeconomic unfairness. If you don't ask, you don't get. If you ask for advice, listen to it. Don't make excuses to yourself. If you're not sure, always ask. Never assume. Treat people then way you'd like to be treated yourself. Never talk over someone. Wait until they finish. Don't waste time worrying over something that hasn't happened yet. Always prepare as much as you possibly can for something. There are friendships and there are friendships. Most people you'll get to know during your life will be friendships. Just a few will be friendships. That doesn't mean the relationships that end don't have meaning though be prepared that a deep one, even most deep ones will eventually fade. And that's okay. It may sound like a downer. But it has helped me to not get so devastated when I realize someone I care about isn't part of my life anymore. You don't have to be stupid to do dumb things. We all screw up from time to time. But that's not a reflection on your intellect. Be an adult about it. Acknowledge your error as necessary. Correct it. Learn from it. If you're worried about people judging you for screwing up, they're probably paying a lot less attention to you than you think. And chances are they either didn't notice or didn't care. Jack of all trades. Master of none. But certainly better than a master of one. Don't be afraid of not being the best at one specific thing. Dabble in all sorts of things. Try out anything you can get your hands on. That's how I've found fun and confidence in my life. From my dad, you're never the smartest person in the room. You may excel in one area. You may be an advanced academic in a field, but there's someone else out there who is skilled at something you aren't. It doesn't pay well to act higher and better than those around you because you feel secure in your skill. You aren't the smartest in the room, and also tied for first place, if you don't ask. The answer will always be, no. Not one specific advice per se, but it's a mindset passed down from grandpa, to dad, to me. Their way of parenting was to teach kids pride. We didn't do bad things because we were simply afraid of consequences. We didn't do it because we are above that. It's like riding a high horse, but in a positive way. Cheating. Only losers do that. Are you a loser? I don't claim that that sort of parenting will work on every kid, but it certainly worked for me. I have a great sense of honor. Not that bullshit saving face sort of honor, but real honor. Thank you for listening. What is the best advice that you have received? Check out our other videos. Like, share and subscribe if you like the content.